Known for its historic sites and tasty food, Boston is a great place to explore. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the things to know before you go to Boston. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit. March to May or September to October are the best times to visit Boston. These spring and fall months offer pleasant weather so you can explore the city on foot with ease. There are also various events that run throughout these months too. Summer is warm with expensive hotel rates and plenty of visitors, but you can enjoy outdoor concerts, sidewalk cafes and baseball games during these months. Winter is cold and Boston can experience snow often. This is the ideal time for those traveling on a budget as hotel prices are cheaper at this time, but make sure to bring a warm coat and a pair of boots. So now let's look at getting there. The easiest way to visit Boston for most travelers is via air. Logan International Airport includes four passenger terminals serving non-stop links to over 50 international destinations and over 70 domestic destinations. Alternatively, you can take an Amtrak train from cities like New York, Washington DC, Philadelphia and Baltimore, whilst Megabus offer bus routes from the nearby cities too. So now let's look at getting around. There are a few options when planning transport around Boston. The city is smaller than you may think, so you can easily walk or cycle around the city centre, exploring the neighbourhoods and historic sites that are near one another. The MBTA is Boston's public transportation system, with the subway system connecting you to the nearby suburbs and the commuter rail taking you to locations outside of the city. Taxis and apps like Uber and Lyft are also available in Boston and it is possible to rent a car and drive around to see the sites, but parking can be limited and expensive in the city centre. There is also a hop-on, hop-off trolley tour that is included in the Go Boston Attraction Pass. Offering you transport around the city to all of the major sites, we will leave the link in the description below. So now let's look at the typical prices. There aren't too many hostels that can be found in Boston, but you can find dorm beds from $60 when you book in advance, but most hostels are a little further out from the city center. Mid-range rooms begin at $160 in good locations, but expect to pay at least $210 for hotels in the West End or along the waterfront. More luxurious options can be found from $250. A coffee and light breakfast from a cafe can be found from under $10. Lunch can be found between $10 to $20, whilst a sit-down dinner costs around $50 per person, depending on the location and quality. So Boston isn't the cheapest city in the US, but there are ways that you can save money. Firstly, get yourself the Boston City Pass to save money on paid attractions around the city, but also skip the lines at those attractions too. The Go City Boston Pass is also a good option, ideal for those only visiting for a few days and who may not have the time to see too many attractions. We'll leave both links in the description below. Avoid renting a car and stick to walking, cycling or using the public transport to save money. VRBO offers some great apartment rentals that can work out better value for money compared to hotels or stay in a hostel if you are on a tight budget. Download the Freedom Trail app to learn about the history for free as you walk the trail itself and take advantage of the free attractions in Boston too. Visit in the off season if you can and read up on the best cheap eats in the city. Haymarket is a great great option for food on Fridays and Saturdays, whilst the food trucks offer cheap but tasty meals too. So now let's look at the best things to do in Boston. Boston is a great place to visit, offering plenty of things to see and do. Firstly, head to the oldest baseball stadium in the US, Fenway Park, but book baseball tickets in advance if you want to catch a game. Take a walk along the Freedom Trail, then visit at least one of the many museums. The Museum of Science is a fun interactive museum, the Museum of Fine Arts is a great option for art lovers, and the Boston Children's Museum is perfect perfect for families. Head into the huge food hall that is Quincy Market and spend some time at the impressive New England Aquarium. 
enjoy the parks during the warmer months, take a stroll around Boston Common, and then head to the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum for a unique, beautiful museum in Boston. Enjoy some time along the Boston Harbour, visiting the lighthouses, museums, and landmarks in this area too. Watch this video to learn about how to visit Boston on a budget, then to learn about the best places to visit in the USA. Watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in Boston and stay creative.